welcome to you and yours to this program, another episode of this program, Daily Charge with Mountaintop Daily Devotional. God bless you and yours in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You're welcome to today, the second day uh, of the month of November, Saturday, November 2nd, November 4th. And we're so happy to have you join us today. God bless you in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for such a day like this. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for he that watches over us, neither sleep nor slumber. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This morning we ask you to open us of understanding. Today, O oh Lord, we pray that you open us of understanding. Fill us by your power. Teach our spirit by your power. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. I also happy to have you join us today, like I said more earlier. And this, today we're looking at another topic, build to last, build to last, build to last. Um, what, I trust we have uh, our devotional with us, uh, uh, Martin Top, the devotional and our writing materials as we enjoy this many together today, the word of the Lord, praise God, build to last. And our memory verse is 1 Corinthians 3, verse 11. 1 Corinthians 3, 11. The Bible says, For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. I take it again. For no other foundation can any man lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. And a prophetic word for today, and I prophesy by the Spirit of the Lord, that you will see the grace to build your life according to God's word. We see the grace to build your life according to God's word in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And our fire scripture, our working text, is from the book of Matthew, Matthew 7 verse 24 to 25 please let's open our bibles to um, the book of matthew chapter 7 matthew chapter 7 from verse 24 to 25 and i'll read from here reading from new new king james version it said therefore but jesus was speaking here he said therefore whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock and the rain descended, the floods came and the winds blew. <laughs> you know what he said? The rain descended, the flood came, the wind blew and beat on that house and it did not fall despite the disaster, whether it's a hurricane you know, or anything that happened. Jesus said that that particular house is standing, for it was founded on the rock. Here, I was making a figurative expression. We'll get to, to, we'll get to decode that shortly. But everyone who hears this saying of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand and the rain descended. Of course, the, the outcome of that is, is obvious. And the rain descended, the floods came, the winds blew, and beat on the house. And what happens? It fell. And in fact, not just ordinary fall, fall, it was a great fall. Praise the name of the Lord. A popular text again, Psalm 11 verse 3 says, If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Remember, our topic today is build, build to last. Build to last. Friends, as you all know, the foundation of anything in life is very crucial. The foundation of anything in life, it's very important. Whether the foundation of a career, a profession, a marriage, or even a structure like a building. 
are anything and everything has a foundation. Praise the movie Lord. Everything in this life has a foundation. And that's will lead us to where we talk about what is the foundation. It could be likened to a structure. Like Christ was saying here, you know, in, a, in a figurative manner, it could be a structure in which something, a, a, a structure in which a whole is built on that structure. That is the foundation. Now, when you apply to a life scenario, a foundation represents the beginning. It represents the beginning. Remember, they can build to last, meaning that something that will last forever or last for a while or last for long, something that would even out, outlast or outlive, let me use that word, outlive the person that built it. Praise the Lord. So, when applied in the context of a life, so when we say a foundation, a foundation means the beginning. And everything in life has a beginning. Whether you are starting the job, your day one is the beginning. Whether you are starting a business, your day one is the beginning. Whether you are going to a marriage or relationship, the first day is the beginning. Whether you are even putting up a structure on the ground, when you lay the foundation, is the beginning. Hallelujah. Whether you are anything, just anything, want to do a project, the, the assist, it has a beginning. So that beginning represents a foundation. It also means the source. You can also describe the foundation as the source. It's the source. Hallelujah. Also, the starting point. The starting point. And these, these are things I want us to know very well. Remember we said, when you apply the context of life, it means the beginning. And that's why you must not joke with the beginning of anything you are doing. That, like they say, that the morning dictates the day. The morning dictates the day. So you cannot joke with the beginning. Like I said, when I apply to life, you represent the beginning, represent the source, the starting point, the day one. The day one is very crucial. Day one is very crucial. Anything you want to do in this life, your day one is very crucial. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Remember, we're looking at build to last. One thing is sure that build, buildings with solid foundation build, will stand disaster. Like in our, in, our, in our devotional here, there is a story of a recording in Florida that was described to us here that the, 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 when the hurricane happened, only one house stood out of the hurricane and because the, the person said he followed the particular building code and that was why his, his own house was not destroyed by the hurricane. Why? It was built to last on a foundation. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's look at some few facts about foundation before we go ahead to, to where we want to focus more to, today on our devotional. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's know some facts that we should just... Number one is that the strength of a thing depends on what it is laid on. The strength of a thing depends on what it is laid on. For example, now I'm sitting on this chair. If this chair is not strong to carry me, this chair I'm sitting with, well, we do what? We, of course, will collapse because it's not strong enough to carry my weight. Similarly, if you build anything, whatever you build, if it's not strong enough, obviously, it will not last. So the strength of a thing, whether it's a family, a house, an organization, a business, an institution, anything depends on what it is laid. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to take a short break and we'll be right back. Please don't chill it out. God bless you. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional. The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9. Available through download. 
the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Welcome back to this program, Daily Charge of Mountain Top Daily Devotional on this Saturday, second day of November 2024. And God bless you. We're so happy to have you join us today. And I trust you've been blessed on this on this program. And I wish and the Lord himself we surely bless you and i today um again in jesus mighty name amen before going on the short break we're looking at a very good topic build to last build to last and that build to last is speaking about something about a structure about a foundation and start looking at what does a foundation represent i said it represents like a typical structure where you something is laid on it and when applied to life it represents the starting point represent the beginning represent the source represent the one hallelujah and that's why i always charge the young ones do not joke with the one like they say a popular day that the morning dictate the day do not joke with your day one please i, I i'm pleased with you what, and I was we're looking at some facts about foundation before we took the shot, but let's wrap up, wrap up on that and then we narrow down to um, the point of today. We said the foundation that the strength of a team depends on what is laid on. Two now is that foundation lays a dirty job. It's not an easy task at all. When it comes to laying foundation, it is not in just just look at. Just imagine, for those of us who are probably building contractors watching this program, or you know a bit about building, when you are laying foundation, is a lot of plumbing, a lot of structuring, it is a lot that goes into it. Why? Because if you, if it's faulty, it's dangerous. Praise the name of the Lord. So foundation laying, there is no shortcut to foundation. You don't do shortcuts in foundation. So that's why for young people out there, they want the beginning, please do not do short court. For someone you are starting his career or a job, you must get you have to hold his sleeves. You must get your hands dirty. You must walk so you can build a foundation for the future. Next, that a faulty foundation is a recipe for disaster. And where there is a fault in a foundation, you cannot correct it. It's not you go and correct. It, you just have to pull down the structure and start all over again. Praise the name of the Lord. So that is the, the challenge with when you build a faulty foundation. It's a recipe for disaster. You cannot correct. We all know that. You can't correct it. You, you, the only thing, if, you, if there's a fault there, you have to bring it all down. That's the only way out. You have, to, you have to bring that thing down to correct it. And then, whatever you sow into a foundation, that's what you will reap. Like Christ was saying that the man that built the house on the sand, when the flood came, flood washed everything away. Why? It was sand that he sowed into that foundation. Praise the name of the Lord. Another point to know is that Many things are in people's foundation. 
which must be dealt with as well. Otherwise, the, your life is going to crumble. Because, I, I, I mean, I, if you look at it from the angle of your foundations of your, person, your ancestry, many are on their life has been built. In fact, some, some grow from de- on deficits. And when your life was laid on deficits, then there is a problem which have to be addressed. Now, the focus of our, uh, our, script, uh, our, our devotional today is on what should we lay our life? On what foundation should our life be laid? And here, we see that the first thing is that we should lay our lives, we should build our life on the Word of God. That is the surest foundation. Praise the name of the Lord. We should build our life. Not only our life, we should build our homes, build your marriage, build your career, build your business, build your children, build your for everything, your wife, your husband, on the word of God. Because that is what will last. Remember, the Bible says the whole world will pass away. Everything in this life will pass away. But this world will stand forever. So we should not build on what is transient, but what is permanent. What is transient is what we see around, what we see in this in this world. Those are transient things. They are passing away. They will all pass away. But what will last, that will endure, is the word of God, the Bible, and that's why we are encouraged to build our life on the word of the, on the word of God. Praise. And what does that mean to say you build your life on the word of God? Very simple. It's to gather scriptures that pertains to everything that relates to your life, your career, your business, your marriage, your children, your family. Just gather scriptures and begin to confess those scriptures. That's what it means. Hallelujah. So whatever is relevant to an issue, gather scriptures. And begin to confess, begin to declare the word of God. Remember Hebrews 4 verse 12. The word of God is quick, powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing to divine and son of bones and marrow. And divine and the, even divine the thoughts of the heart and the intent of the heart. That is the word of the Lord. So that's how powerful God's word is. And like I said before, it, he said that word alone. God himself said that his word is powerful. He's, he's most powerful than his name. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's why it's important for us to build our life on the word of God. Whatever you build on that word, we sh- that word is the pillar. That word is the foundation. That word is what will make it last and make it endurable, enjoyable, and make it permanent and will last forever. For example, today, maybe you are pregnant or you are expecting a child. This is the time to start building, to start sowing the word of God to the unborn child. Whether that's in the womb or even if they are born, you can still sow it into their beginning. This is the most perfect time in their journey to sow the word of God, to declare the promise of God as containing his word, to build their lives, to build their destinies on the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The word of God. The word of God has been proven and tested to be powerful, to be strong, Remember the battle that Christ had with the, with the devil. It was a battle of words, not prayers. It was a battle of words. And that is how powerful the word of God is. So like I said, what do we need to do? Very simple. is for us to gather scriptures. In the, in the, gather the word of the Lord. That is relevant to that particular situation. And begin to speak the word. Begin to sow the word into the foundation of that thing. Hallelujah. 
We need to sow the world. Like I mentioned the case of the children, they are for signs and they are for wonders. Right? We need to declare what the Bible has said concerning your children. If you have a particular project you are doing, gather scriptures. Hallelujah. Even for your family too, gather scriptures. For that business that you are running and you desire breakthroughs, you desire prosperity, you desire it to prosper, what do you need to do? Gather scriptures. When you're about to start, as you, as you are laying the foundation, the day one, because like I said before, foundation laying as it applies to life is not the way as you are building a house. It is not like you are uh, you know, getting blocks and sand and cement. But in this case, what are you doing? You are gathering the word of God. That on day one, you sow the word of God, you sow prayers. And with that, that business, that profession will definitely last. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to take another short break. And we shall be right back. God bless you. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live, for the year 2024, Volume 9, available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Live Daily Devotional, Volume 9, a life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available, Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Welcome back to our program, Daily Charge with Mountain Top daily devotional god bless you in jesus name as we wrap up today's um, episode of the program where we have discussed around build to last build to last build to last like i said earlier and one key point that we must note is that everything we do in life has a beginning as a foundation as a starting point and that is very important that decides the rest of that thing. Hallelujah. Let's on that point. That's the action you take on day one. The action you take in the beginning determines, decide the rest of that particular thing. Whether it's a, whether it's a business you are starting, whether it's a career, whether it's a trade, whether it's a ministry, whether it's a marriage, whether it's a project, what, anything you call it, the, the, the actions you take on day one, the action you take at the starting point, at the beginning, will surely, will surely determine and decide the rest of that thing, how long it will last. Hallelujah. And that's why I'm, I'm pleading with us never to joke with the beginning. And we were, and, and we are, we are at one point that we established here today is that the, the best action to take, the best action to, that we can take at the beginning is to sow the seed of the word of God. To sow the seed of the word. To sow the seed of the word. The psalmist doesn't joke with the word. Say, the word that I eat in my heart, I may not sin against thee. The world is a light on my path. Right. So we need to sow that word. 
into the beginning of that thing. And it's very simple to do, friends. What we need to do is to gather scriptures and declare those scriptures into the foundation of that thing for you to last forever. And how do we know? The Bible has said that not a dot of this world will go unfulfilled. Everything will pass away, but only the world will last. So it's so very simple. Since I know that the only thing that will last forever is the word of God. So just make a lot of sense to do what? To build anything I want to do on that word. On that word. That word is the surest foundation, friends. The word of God is the surest foundation. Why? Because the word of God is God himself. Hallelujah. And our God is immortal. Our God is everlasting. Our God will last forever. So surely once you build that thing on, the, on God himself, surely that permanent lasting forever is guaranteed by God himself. God is committed. He's committed. Whatever you dedicate to him, whatever you, 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 you commit to him, he is also committed to, to, to keep that thing which had been, you know, dedicated to him through his word. Praise the name of the Lord. That is our greatest treasure. The word of God is our greatest asset. It's our greatest treasure. In fact, it's the, it's the greatest advantage of, each, of a believer. And that's why we need to use that word to build our lives, build our homes, build our marriages, build our destinies, build our careers, build our businesses on the word of God. God bless you in Jesus' name. So happy to have you join us today. And let's close our eyes and we just pray this prayer. Let's say, I, Father, I receive the inner strength to overcome the temptation of taking shortcuts to achieve my goals in life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So I declare that the word of God is my final authority. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. We're so happy to have you join us today on this episode of this program. And we look forward to hosting you once again. Till then, we love you and God loves you more. Stay blessed. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.